Hello and welcome you all for uh, the next video of control engineering. Today we will uh, see a few examples of uh, control system. So um, the first one is in the figure. Uh, here I'll explain the process. The process is nothing but we have uh, water coming into the tank. This is a tank and water is flowing into the tank and we have an outlet of water a pump is used to, to pump water from the tank now uh, this is a float and using this float we will be able to uh, adjust the valve so this is a valve this valve controls the flow of the inlet liquid so uh, here we have to uh, mention what are the control terminologies the first one is the process the process is nothing but the level control of the tank system so we are trying to control the level level is the variable here controlled variable here so uh, this variable level is being controlled here so the process is nothing but level control of uh, tank now here the sensor is nothing but this float and this float moves up and down uh, according to the level of the water so the water level uh, is sensed by this float so based on the position of the float if if the water level is higher the float position will be higher and it will correspondingly give instruction to the uh, inlet uh, so this valve is being controlled based on the position of this float so we will have a certain desired set point this hs denotes this set point so our aim is to maintain the level of the water at this set point so uh, currently the float senses that the water level is at a lower position so this valve is being opened more so that more water comes in and this water level rises to this point so all this all that can happen only if qa is fixed so the water pumped out is at a fixed rate only then you can control the uh, level of this water so uh, here the manipulated variable so the variable that we are controlling to reach this uh, desired set point is this instruction given to the valve so this uh, instruction the control instruction is given to the valve whether to open it or close it according to the level of the liquid in the tank so uh, that is the manipulated variable so this is the manipulated variable the signal given to the control valve is the manipulated variable there are many possible disturbances one possible disturbance is the uh, difference uh, as i mentioned earlier there should be a fixed uh, outflow so that we can control this perfectly but uh, if the outflow varies due to some reason due to the fluctuation of the motor of the pump so the outflow may vary so that is a disturbance to this tank another possible disturbance is that there can be a leak in the tank so water goes out through the leak that is also a possible disturbance so there are many possible disturbances to the tank so this is the system here this is a closed loop system because we are sensing the level of the tank and then we are giving it as a feedback to control the flow of the inflow of the tank this is the next example here uh, a car is moving on, on in the road and we are trying to control the speed of the car the speed of the car is the controlled variable here the variable that we are trying to control so how can we control the speed of the car by adjusting by putting giving pressure to the uh, accelerometer or the brake so these two equipments we will use uh, alternatively to control the speed of the car so the speedometer senses the speed of the car and gives feedback to the user or the driver and the driver decides if the speed limit say for example is 
to maintain the speed our set point to maintain the speed of the car is 50 km per hour so we need to maintain the speed of the car at 50 km per hour now if the current speedometer senses the current speed of the car and if it is at 40 km per hour then the driver give pushes uh, the pedal of accelerometer and accelerates the vehicle so that the speed increases from 40 to 50 and if it is beyond 50 say 60 km per hour the speedometer senses the current speed of the car as 60 km per hour then the driver senses that the speed is more than the desired set point then he applies pressure on the brake so that the speed reduces and reaches at 50 km per hour so this is the control action here so uh, the process is the uh, speed of the car now uh, the sensor is the speedometer which senses the speed of the car the set point is the desired speed of the car say 50 km per hour in the example mentioned uh, earlier so and the controlled variable is the speed of the car so speed of the car is the variable that we need to control and how are we controlling it the manipulated variable is the pressure applied to the brake or the pressure applied to the accelerometer and what are the possible disturbances this wind can be a possible disturbance the smoothness of the road the friction of the tire with the road that can be a possible disturbance so uh, there can be many disturbances possible disturbances to the system so uh, we will see many advanced control techniques which will take into account this disturbances also while maintaining the speed of the car so this is the second example we will move on to the third example now this is an example which is similar to the one which we have uh, seen at the beginning at the first example here we are trying to control the level of the tank and but here it is an open loop process there is no feedback there is no control element so there is a fixed uh, water coming in fixed water coming into the tank at a fixed rate called q in and water is flowing out of the tank at a fixed rate called q out and this valve is kept at a particular position a fixed position then after some time this inflow and the outflow will get balanced and the water level stays at a particular level at particular fixed level so that is the state that is called the steady state value now there are two ways of controlling this uh, water level and for both we need a sensor which senses the level of the tank like in the first example we used a float there are different level sensing equipments which we can use so a sensor is used to sense the level of the tank now this is sent to a controller a controller will either send instruction to the inflow so we can control the inflow of the tank based on our desired set point say the set point is 66 centimeters height then uh, the controller will instruct the uh, inflow valve to open more so that more water flows in and the set point is reached the alternative way second way of controlling this tank is giving a control instruction to the outflow so here u is the control instruction that is given to the valve and kept at the outflow so in the second case the inflow is constant and we are sensing the height of the tank send it to the controller the controller instructs this valve so that if the desired height is 66 and the present height is say 50 then it is closed to more so that the level gradually rises we know that the inflow is fixed rate right? so level gradually rises when it is close to more and it reaches a set point so these are the two ways of controlling either you control the inflow of the tank or you control the outflow of the tank to achieve the desired set point so here the controlled variable is the height of the tank uh, the manipulated variable can be uh, the instruction given to the valve at the inflow or the instruction given to the valve at the outflow there are many possible disturbances so inflow can be a possible disturbance 
there can be an increase or decrease in the inflow outflow can be a possible disturbance there can be increase or decrease in the outflow uh, so all those there can be leak in the tank all those are possible disturbances to the tank or there can be external water poured into the tank that also is a possible disturbance so this is the fourth example here we have a cold water that is coming into the tank there is a heater that uh, increases the uh, temperature of the water in the tank and there is uh, outflow to the tank so hot water is taken out of the tank so the variable here the level of the tank is at a fixed level but the variable here is the temperature of the tank so we are trying to hear the controlled variable is the temperature of the tank so we have uh, inlet and we have outlet and we have this uh, heater so uh, here how it works as a closed loop system uh, we give we sense the temperature of the tank sense the temperature so we need say the inflow at 25 degrees celsius and the outflow is at 35 degrees celsius so our desired temperature is at 35 degrees celsius now uh, suppose it is not 35 it is below 35 then this uh, temperature is fed back to the controller and the controller gives instruction to the heater to heat up the tank more so that this temperature rises to 35 degrees celsius suppose the temperature is more than 35 say 40 degrees celsius then the controller senses this temperature and then it feeds back to the heater telling it to uh, not heat so much so that the temperature drops uh, from 40 to 35 so there can be many possible disturbances to this tank say uh, the temperature of the inlet is not 25 it is some 20 then that is a disturbance to the system then the flow rate is a disturbance the flow rate of input as well as the flow rate of output both can be a disturbance to the system a flow rate depends on the position of this valve so valve position changing is a disturbance to the system also the heat or heating element the temperature fluctuation here so the current fluctuations to the heater all those can be a possible disturbance there can be leak in the tank there can be additional water poured into the tank all those can be possible disturbances so here the sensor that we use is a temperature sensor we need to sense the temperature of the liquid the height of the liquid the level of the liquid is fixed and the temperature is what is our controlled variable the variable that we are trying to control so let us see the fifth example this is a little more complicated example where we have four different tank and the tank are tanks are interconnected see uh, the bottom one is a reservoir water is pumped from the reservoir to tank one and this valve splits the water to tank one and tank four so water is pumped by this first pump to tank one and tank four and water is pumped from the reservoir to tank two and tank three by this uh, pump two now uh, water from the top tank flows to the bottom tank and finally to the reservoir our aim is to maintain the level of the tank one and tank two so uh, how can we maintain the level of the tank there can be two possibilities one is by controlling the uh, pumping capacity or the voltage given to the pump so by controlling this pumping capacity we can control the uh, level of these two tanks so uh, if the tank level is too low compared to the set point then we can pump more water we can give the voltage such that we pump more water to tank one similarly to tank two but uh, the uh, complication of the system comes when uh, when when we pump more water there is more water going to tank four and that will indirectly affect uh, tank two similarly when we are uh, trying to control tank one this pump two pumps water to tank three and that affects the tank one so it is a little more complicated compared to the previous examples there is no uh, we have to simultaneously control both these pumps so that this liquid level is maintained another way of controlling is we fix the 
pump one and pump two at certain voltages and we try to control the uh, valve position of this valve one and valve two so that is an alternative way of controlling the uh, tank process so here the controlled variable is the height of the tank one and the height of the tank two and the manipulated variable is either the voltages given to pump one and pump two or the uh, uh, valve positions of valve one and valve two 